Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UI5 projects. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to print full screen or entire view section of SAP UI5. So this is a very common requirement in case you are generating an invoice or you are going to take a screenshot of a particular screen, you need to print it out. So the prerequisite will be the knowledge of JavaScript will be required because you will be using different ways to perform this operation. You will certainly need IDE access. You can use Web IDE or Business Application Studio. And then you will need basic knowledge of SAP UI5. So these are the different types of SAP print operations. So the very first basic thing that you can do is you can press Control and P in Windows, right? So this will give an option of browser print. That is, you can print or save the entire section in PDF format. Then there is an operation of Windows function where the same operation that Control plus P performs, you can perform on a click of a button. That click of a button will trigger the same thing that is control plus P is going to trigger. The third section is canvas print in which you convert the entire view in an image and then print it out. And the last one is HTML based print where you actually take a snippet or you take the code from the entire view and pass it into HTML section in the form of iframe and that print that particular iframe. So this is very useful in case you want to you know delete some views sections like there are some buttons that you don't want in the print preview you can delete using HTML based. So let's uh, jump into the coding and before coding I want to showcase this particular uh, tutorial that you can go through uh, the link of this tutorial will be shared in the video description and here we have mentioned everything whatever we are going to discuss now. So you can use this coding you can copy and paste the code from here and perform the same operations so we'll share this link uh, in the description so if i go to the preview i can showcase like this is something that we have designed you know this is purely view based uh, design where we have used a uh, v box h box to design something like a simple invoice the invoice belongs to our company road Labs private limited and we have given some address here and when given some service details with uh, some amount over here. So if I do control plus P, this is something I'm doing for my keyboard. You can see all the options that the browser provides. So you can you know, convert it into landscape from here. You can convert back to portrait. You can you know add some black and white and color from here. And there are some more settings like uh, the size of the paper that you want to use. You want to fit to the printable area or you want to take the actual size. So everything, the margins, you can add the footers, you know, that is something that belongs to the browser. Then you can add the back, background graphics that is part of this uh, view section. So all these things you can perform over here. The same thing you can perform using a default print operation like this, where we are triggering the same thing and the same preview opens up, nothing different from control P. And to perform this operation, we'll just go through the you know, view ones. So the view is very basic. We have defined a page here. Within that, we have content. And we have some VBOX, title, HBOX, label, text, label, text. And also a table is there because we want to showcase our uh, invoice description where we are mentioning the, the pricing details. And then we have some buttons. And the very first button is on press print that we have pressed, right? A default print operation. And if I go back to controller, you see on press print, one single line of code is written. That is window.print. That's it. Nothing else. This is a default JavaScript based print operation. Now, once you are done with the print operation like this, there are some other operations, right? Like print after converting to image. So once you click this particular option, it will convert the entire page into an image. If you see like this, this is a screenshot, right? And you can take a landscape. And everything that is there is taken as a screenshot. And now you can print it out. So this is the second way of doing it. If you close it, then also you can see the screenshot of that particular page. So both are visible here. Right? So what exactly we have written in the print of via canvas is like 
from view we have same button here and we have something called on print capture and uh, the spelling of capture is wrong here but anyhow it is the same thing and uh, then we have something called page right we are getting the page the entire page is taken up here and we are assuming that page is the id of the your main page so it is something similar right page is the id of the full entire view and if we get the page then we get the dom reference dom reference is something called html uh, based root structure where we get the, the entire structures uh, basic root so in this way we are actually getting the entire element inside a single variable now once you get the entire element we have an operation from html it is called html to canvas and then we pass this particular dom element within this function and it returns me multiple things one of the thing is uh, like canvas and this canvas can be converted into form of image so this canvas is passed to this function that is called to data url and here we pass the type of functionality that we want to convert that is image or png and we take that entire png in, inside a variable and this variable will be used thereafter to actually create an image so ultimately if you see an image is created right so to create an image we actually use the image uh, html tag img where we pass the source the source will be this entire data and then we print it out over the screen so the printing is like once we click this button an image is created right and once the image is created automatically you got to see the print option and if you see the print option remains the same window dot print nothing different right and also it opened up the entire page into a new section in a new tab so window dot open will open the entire uh, section in a new tab so this is used uh, to open up into new tab otherwise if i don't use underscore blank uh, the same page will be converted into image so these were the entire step by step operations that we did to convert an entire page into format of image and then we have printed that image i believe like uh, this uh, section is uh, something you understood otherwise you can always uh, go through on internet to learn more about the canvas and the images in html and last part that is print frame so this is very interesting where if you uh, just click on control p you will see you can see all the buttons right and uh, there are some operations to hide and hide some fields but you cannot unhide the fields of the view so it's like if you have defined buttons if you have defined text you will get everything on control p so how to remove those issue to remove those issue uh, we have created something called print frame and on click of this print frame what happens three operation happen so before i just discuss this print frame one more uh, thing i wanted to tell regarding canvas is that the canvas functions that we have used html to canvas or some other operations uh, this library is not by default available in javascript or sap ui file for that we have used a script cdn script where the library is loaded from here that's why we were able to actually uh, use these functions so this is something that you have to use then only the print canvas will be in enabled fine so now we can come back to the print frame so this print frame is a way where you create a frame iframe beforehand so in html you can see in body we have defined iframe and its name is also print frame and it is not displayed the style is display none so nothing is there fine so now what happens is like on click of print frame you go to this particular uh, variable so once on print frame is clicked what happens is like we get the element by id it is a html based concept where you get the element by id and in this particular variable we get the entire element the print frame so now you will see what is this uh, print frame so inside view we have a v box and we have something called id frame here right so we have defined an id for this particular frame so the plan is to print in only this v box and the buttons are outside this v box so this will enable us to print only this particular section right 
so now we have something called o frame this is fetching this particular i frame right and then we have content window where we are getting the i frame content window and then we are passing it over to o doc so till now we are just uh, getting the uh, instance of that i frame nothing else now two different options i have shown here the first option is like you print the entire page so if i will do that what will happen the entire page will have these buttons also right so to do that what you do just get the view and then get the content and inside the content you will actually get an array so you will get have to fetch the first one that is zero value fine and in case i want to just get a particular section so i will define an id for it so i have defined something called id frame for the vbox and then i will pass this value to get the content fine so now i have the content of that particular vbox i have the i frame both are there but the content will be something as per ui5 not as per html so what i will do so i will get the content and then i will get the html of that using get dom refresh ref and then outer html so once you do this you have the html content now and you have the iframe so now what you have to do just insert this html content within this iframe so you open the iframe you write it down something like uh, i i am going to write print content at the top and then you write whatever content you can pass it out inside the iframe so before that i have just written one single line if you don't want to print something that is in the page you want to print something very custom you can actually write your own html here like this and uh, you can just perform same o dog write and then once this is done the same thing that you did earlier we will do here also so whatever content is there you will call the function print so window dot print is not there for us we have a window of iframe so iframe window dot print is going to happen so let's me just run it out so to showcase you see that button is gone one more thing you might have seen that the styling is gone because we have not passed the styles so whatever style is there in ui5 will not be passed to html so you have to actually write the style section also manually so this is one of the uh, you can say not a good benefit here but the benefit is that you can print your required sections so let me just uh, and comment this part comment this part refresh it so now i'm going to show you how to get the content of entire view even the buttons will be printed here you see the buttons are also here and the last one i will just uh, i don't want actually both of them and i will not pass anything in the html like this i will pass the hard coded one and will refresh and i will click the print i frame uh, let me see something okay so let me just have this thing this is the content to print this is the part that is being gone there right so you might ask me like why i uncommented actually i don't need any of them yeah so in case you have not understood any concept you can always write your comment in the comment section and will help you out to understand the printing operation in sap ui5 so i believe we have covered all the possible ways of printing in sap ui5 if you believe there are more ways you can always mention that below we can create a new video on top of it thank you very much